this morning to what he has to say. Amen? Amen. Because uh, we're ready. We're ready. We've been ready all week. Amen? Amen. So, praise God. Come on in. Yes. God bless you too. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. You know, it's always a pleasure to be here. I finally got my pilot's license. Are we on board this morning? Amen. 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 God is good all the time. All the time. Yes. yes. You know, you were sharing about the funeral, your sister and everything. We just received notice about my aunt my, and my mother's head second for the meal that they don't send her. God bless everybody last Sunday. Um, and it was, this was the only aunt that, uh, that I have on my mother's side, the only family member. So as for your prayers, because I heard that I might have to go, I might deliver the message in Vegas and only Lord knows how I'm getting there. He's got a plan. Yes. I know I don't want, but he's got a plan. Yes, he does. And I ministered there in 1999 uh, in an assembly of God. And just God opens up these opportunities Amen. to minister yes. for such a time as this. Yes, yes. In every area, whether the funerals, whether the weddings, whether the highways or hedges, any of these places. Good morning to everybody here. And it's always fun here. I like it. I like, I like the, the worship team. I like everything because I want more. I want yeah. more. You know, and yesterday I was, uh, I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? And, you know, I've been praying this week for the message. And I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to go into a day of fasting and prayer. And then I go to my mother's house and they decided to make a big pot of soup. I said, oh, my God. I said, how dare you? Yeah. It was about this big, probably so many vegetables yeah. and beef and everything else. And, well, are you going to eat us? No. So you're not going to eat? <clears throat> I probably won't have that soup you left for the service today. Yeah. You know, I just felt that leading, and it was like, oh my God. And so I finally had to just go home and just shut down, and I'll be close to that pot of soup. <laughs> God is so awesome yes, in yes. every way. In everything that He's doing today and all week long, because He's the same yesterday, yes, today, and forever. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. About the and beyond the, the plans of man, yes. beyond any religious framework yes. that's out there. No, 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 don't, don't be doing that right now, not tomorrow, not all week long, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. Well, hallelujah. That, you know, once we get those credentials, that, that anointing, that authority of the living God, the relationship that we yeah. have with Jesus Christ, yeah. He just says, Go. Yeah. Go. Hallelujah. And that's, yeah. his, that's what He's doing with us. And I was yes. thinking this morning, I was praying this several days ago, I said, Lord, what do you want me to take? And, you know, the thought came that, you know, and, the, and this is biblical, that we cannot put new wine in all in the old wine That's right. That's right. It's not going to work. No. Everything that is tradition, all those thoughts, all those ideas, sooner or later, it's just going to burst, yeah. and everything's going to go here and there, and it's not going to be good. So, but praise God that He's doing a mighty job and saying, no, 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 we're going to do, we're going to do things this way. Mm -hmm. They'll bring honor and glory to Him yes. in every way. Amen. It is so awesome what is going on and, and everything that is moving. The Holy Spirit is moving in such a way. He's bringing forth fresh revelation Amen. every moment of the day. Praise God. Because He is the living God. Yes, He is. And the message this morning, I said, Lord, what do you want me to, as throughout the week, I said, what do you want me to bring for this message uh, this week and, and Sunday after Pastor Jose, and I thank you for the invitation. And the title of this message is, Once You Know the Truth, You're Never the Same. Oh, oh hallelujah. Amen. You're never the same. And it can go the other way, because if you're still the same, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Have you uh -huh. really known the truth? Yeah. Because the word of God yeah. comes to set us free yes. from any form of bondage, mm -hmm. yes. any form of religious bondage, any form of bondage, whether it be addiction, whatever it is. That's it. He comes to yes, set yes. the captives free. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So where we find the truth is in that relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And in the Word of God says that no one comes to the Father except through the Son. Yes. This is awesome. Yes. That we allow the Spirit to move. That we allow that. I was thinking of this person and said, Lord, 
bring forth that detox in my life, whatever it is, reveal to me. You know, there's that deliverance or that cleansing. There's everything going on in, in our lives that He be lifted up yes. in every way. Amen. Especially right now. Because there's people out there right now that are looking for a little excuse not to serve Him. Oh, come on. Anything. Oh, they want to back off immediately. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Mm -hmm. Once we start to, anything that we do or say immediately so they can start running, running towards the hills. Mm -hmm. I don't want none of that. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, praise be God. You know, I really look for this opportunity. It does transpire in this trip to, to go minister up there. Because every grand opportunity mm -hmm. should be a grand opportunity to yes. lift up God yes. in every way. Yes. Because yes. I know I have a lot of family, and Lord knows who will be there yeah. to bring the message of yeah. salvation. Yeah. Of healing yeah. and of deliverance yes. in every way. I got a lot of family members. There, you know, can be pretty stubborn to be, you know, want to have their own yeah. ways. And, oh, yeah. you know, and I was, yesterday yeah. I experienced that with one of the family members who were in prayer. I was like, oh, God, we're not saying. We started praying in a circle. We started get lifting up God. And he opens the door and says, why are you all yelling in there? <laughs> you know, praise be to God. And, then, and after that, I said, you know what? You, you can do all your yelling with a cowboys and everything else. Yeah. But now this is, this is a right. virus. So yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I had a message about that title, Super God, mm. right in the time of this Super Bowl and everything else, all this fascination that people get. Yeah. Super God. Super God. Because He is so awesome. Yes, I know is. how He has healed me, how He delivered me out of yes. depression in 1990, four and a half months out of divorce and this and that, to raise two girls. He is so awesome. Yes. Amen. He healed me to yes, raise them. Yes. Yeah. From you know, and, and I just praise God because you know I have said, well, you know, this would be a this would be the title because once you know the truth, yeah. you're never the same. Never the same. Right. That's right. And you don't want to go back to those old ideas to well, uh, it's been a family thing. We were used to doing this. Y'all keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> That's right. And all this stuff that was going on. He said, "Cuando aprendes de Dios que cuando conoce la verdad." Ya no eres el mismo. Hay esa transformación tremenda. There's a big transformation going on. It's like, yes. oh my God, this is awesome. Yes. Because we are spiritually blessed. We are physically blessed. Yes. Everything correlates. You know, our emotions, our mind, our spirit, our soul, everything correlates. And every day it's like, oh my God, He is revealing Himself to us in so many ways. Yes. And I'll tell you, and I'll tell you the moment we just be still also. Mm -hmm. He said, be still and know, know that, that I am God. God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise yes, God. I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing, and I, you know, I was praying, I was praying this morning, I said, Lord, and I and also said, Lord, this is my heart. This is how I want to continue to minister your word, mm -hmm. to send and deliver your word, whatever it takes, to prophesy, to heal, to deliver in your name. Amen. Whatever it takes. There's people that are hurting so yes. much right yeah. now. We hear of that every day. Yeah. You know, and, and from Alpine to Marfa to all over the state yeah. and the nation. Yes. And I was like, oh my God, and all over. Yes. But then there's these vessels right here. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he's chosen Thank you. You, Lord. Yes. you, you, yeah. he's chosen you yeah. for such a time as yes. this. Amen. To deliver the word. Amen. To deliver the word in whatever the calling, the gifting is. Yes. And I'll tell you, this is in Psalms 143. Chapter 1, 43, Libro de los Salmos, capítulo 143, versículo 7. To God be the glory, because it is the living word. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I said, Lord Jesus, we just praise you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Let's just say a prayer right quick, and just right there where you're sitting. Almighty God. Have your way this morning. Yes, Come you. forth in your mighty power, yes. in your word, in your Holy Spirit, and reveal to us this day. Touch each and every one here this morning. And those that are watching live stream, wherever it is, Lord, going through a situation, reveal to them that you are the living God. Yes. And that, yes. that once they know the truth, they will uh -huh. never be the same. Right. Bless them, whatever they're struggling with, spiritual, physical, yes. personal, financial, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. 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 You know, it's so right to say hallelujah. There's no yes. such laws and everything. Praise God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We say hallelujah yes. to the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalms 143, chapter 143, verse 7. Well, excuse me. Yes, sir. Verse, 
Verse 7, there we go. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything was falling on the floor this morning. I was like, oh my God, my phone and everything else. I was like, you know, like coffee was good. I said, Lord, this moment. I, you know, and I just praise God for everything that He is doing and He's going to do this morning. Amen. And all week long, yes. this is what the Word of God says to the city, the nation, and all nations. Hear me speedily, speedily, O oh Lord. My spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, mm. lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Yeah. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Mm -hmm. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, mm -hmm. for I lift up my soul unto thee. Amen. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. Yes. I flee unto thee mm -hmm. to hide me. Teach me to do thy will. For thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Amen. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, my soul out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Bring me, and of thy mercy, cut off my enemies mm -hmm. and destroy all of them that afflict my soul. For I am thy yeah. servant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. praise yeah. be to God. You know, be to especially God. us men. I see this man here today with their sons. And it's such a blessing to see that. Because there's many, many parents that cannot get their children to church. And sad to say, sometimes there's children that can't get their parents to church. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is really awesome because it says right here, teach me. To do thy will. Amen. You know, there's more to learn. I don't know it all. I'm not, like I've always said, I'm not standing on top of the on top of the cloud. Say, Lord, teach me. Yes. Give me wisdom Amen. to deliver your word for such a time as yes. this. Yes. And this is really awesome because it says right here, to know thy way. Yes. Once you know the truth, you're never the same. Right. See, to, and all this is very powerful because there's all these ideas floating on out there that I've shared, you know, is but no, this is the truth. This is the truth. This is the truth. All these opinions, all these crazy ideas that are void. Yeah, yeah. They are shallow. Yeah. They are like wells without water. That's right. And they are like clouds without rain. Yes. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, man is still suffering and they're still in bondage. Mm -hmm. Because where the Spirit of God is, there's liberty. Yes, yes. Because He is a living God. Yeah. And right now there's a, such a rebellion going on, but then there's God. Yes, yes. To break the chains of Amen. oppression Praise that people God. are struggling with right now, whether the meth, opioid, epidemic, whatever it is, mm -hmm. that God would set the captives free. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. In everything going on. Yes. We're not going to throw in the towel of defeat. No. Uh -huh. Because we're moving in the authority of yes. the living God. Yes. And this is our purpose of God. Yes. That he is raising men every day yes. and women. Yes. To move yes. in authority against those giants. Yes. Yeah. Because uh -huh. an enemy is trying to come and steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. But in the name of Jesus, we declare the blood of the Lamb Amen. over our Lord. children yes. and over our families. Hallelujah. Because he is God. Yes, we got to call him today. Yeah. We got to call him Monday morning. We got to call on him all week long. Yeah. That he would answer us and show us great and mighty things which we know us not. That's right. And he is revealing himself in such a way. But this is really powerful. It says, teach me. And this is really awesome. It says, and to know thy way also right there is really awesome because you know so much no where I should walk. And this is really awesome because I always call this a university of the Holy Spirit. Mm. How beautiful. Because he's revealing himself in so many powerful yes. ways. Yes. And you know, it's like, oh my God, yes, you're, that you is Lord. really, really Amen. awesome. You know, and, and I'll tell you one thing. It's a personal testimony. You know, this and once you know the truth, you're never the same unto That's you. Right. You know, there's no sense in jumping on that old camel and heading back to Egypt. <laughs> there's nothing out there. No, and I always like to repeat this, and I tell it to the men at the jail. I said, remember this ain't a Sunday morning thing. Remember this isn't a, you know, one-day thing that we jump and get back. Because many 
have not made it back. That's right. right. That's right. But it's such a sin when that old camel gets up in the middle of the desert. Mm. That's it. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. And praise to the living God Amen. in every way. You know, I yeah. just, uh, there's so much more to go. This is revival because he is the living God. Yes, he is. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And you know, I just, you know, really something like that. We come before him and just as soon as he teach me. Yes. But to know that and empower me with your spirit for such a time as this. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of Psalms, chapter 25 and verse 5. Hallelujah. God is so awesome Amen. in every way. Yes. Hallelujah. I just, uh, you know that I, I deal with a lot of the men at the jail. And it's really awesome. Because God is there. The word is Jehovah Shammah in the Hebrew. Thank God you. is there. Yes. And I'll tell you, I am so blessed with the ministry. I come out there so energized. And when I see a man in tears crying, Amen. when I see a man opening up their hearts and their minds for Jesus, yeah. this is very powerful. Chapter 25 of the book of Psalms and verse 5. The word of God says, Lead me in thy truth Amen. and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. Mm -hmm. On thee do I wait all the day. Yes. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Yes. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. Yeah. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Mm -hmm. Good and upright is the Lord, and therefore will he teach sinners in thy way. Yes. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. Uh -huh. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as his covenant Let's keep his covenant and his yes. testimonies. Yes. See, there's that rules of engagement here. Mm -hmm. All the paths of the Lord are mercy Amen. and truth unto such, that's all of us, yeah. as keep his covenant and testimonies. Mm -hmm. And if you'll remember I mentioned covenant slash relationship the other time, and I mentioned this <laughs> analogies example about this relationship and I know it sounds kind of wild that we're either in covenant with God like the marriage the same the, the marriage yeah. see we're either in that relationship on fire with God or we're not yeah we've either known the truth yeah or we're still the same yeah we're still just going through the motions of things oh it looked good it felt good and we just Send for a while, now I can go do everything else uh -huh. that doesn't conform to God's will. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. No. He continues to backfire. Yeah. That is not going to be good. And this is really powerful about the covenant. I always think about that for a woman struggling. I know it was probably pretty blunt when I mentioned I said, you're no longer in a relationship, you're in a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so it's kind of, oh my God. <laughs> but see, I receive that myself. Mm -hmm. Because if I get myself away from God mm -hmm. and decide to just believe in God but not live for Him, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get no <coughs> yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, I myself am in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. No longer a relationship. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, but praise be to God that His Word is, it says right in verse 5, yeah. Lead me in thy truth yes. and teach me. Mm -hmm. See, the word moving in the area of a discernment mm -hmm. or we're falling into deception. No. We're the moving from faith. We're the moving from fear to faith. Mm -hmm. And from hatred to love. Mm -hmm. And all that. There's a transformation going on. Amen. Because once we know the truth, he is setting us free yes. from all the lies of the enemy. Yes. And believe me, there's plenty out there. There's a lot of ideas out there that people get comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And it's really sad because, you know, they're bound by these opinions, these ideas. And one of the big ones always says that the New Age movement and everything else, mm. every lie from the end, mm. putting man in the middle of it like a, you're it. 
Well, that's not the case. It's never been. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Nothing but ego. That's, that's what right. it is. That's right. And it's really sad. Mm -hmm. It is really sad. And I, <coughs> excuse me. And I'll tell you, this is very powerful. Mm -hmm. to, it's just to say, you know, as fathers and, and the mothers and all, <coughs> excuse me, and all of us here, mm -hmm. to lead me yes. in thy truth. And that's every day. Yes. A continuous process. Yes. And every day, you know, it's, it's really, really awesome, really beautiful. Because he starts to reveal himself so powerful. Yes. And I'll tell you one thing. He, he, he's got to pull us by the ears if he has to, you know. <laughs> That's the Holy Spirit bringing conviction. Yes, yes. And said, no, you're not going to do that. Mm -mm. Don't you get comfortable doing that. That's right. You, because I want to bless you. Yes. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. And it's really, really beautiful. I just, uh, I'll tell you one thing right here in the book of Psalms, chapter 100. Hallelujah. Praise be to God for everything going on. Amen. I just, uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I just, uh, chapter 100 and verse 1, the book of Psalms. Yes, and we munch on this every day. <laughs> Yes. Have to munch on this word every day Amen. because you know the worst thing that we can go through is the spiritual malnutrition. Oh my goodness! No time for word, no time for the spirit of God to move in our lives. Mm -hmm. Then we start getting pretty weak, and the enemy will just come around and slap us like a oh, yeah. raggedy Andy yeah. like this yeah. and defeat. Yeah. Oh, but praise be to God that the word is our nutrition. Yes, it is. Hallelujah! It says, "Make a joyful noise unto the Lord." All ye lands, I can really appreciate your worship music very much. Many out there, because worship is warfare, it brings honor and glory to God in every way. Make a joyful noise yes. unto the Lord, yes. all ye lands. All ye lands. Even louder than this Super Bowl. <laughs> yelling <laughs> under the Hallelujah. Glory. Serve the Lord with gladness. Uh -huh. Come before his presence with singing. Yes, Hallelujah. So right to sing some songs. Get yes. this uno salmo. So right, there's no such laws. Hey, whoa, wait a minute, slow down. What are you doing? <laughs> sing in the beauty of the spirit. Yes. Sing in tongues as yes. well. Yes. How powerful Amen. it is. Yes. Because yes. you're allowing your spirit to be lifted up and he's yes. moving in you. And he's getting you ready for the next yes. battle to go forward in the name of to be empowered by his yes. spirit. Thank Hallelujah. Praise God. To so know ye that the Lord he is God, it is he mm -hmm. that made us. And not we ourselves. Amen. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yes. yes. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Amen. And into, into his courts with praise. Yes. Yes. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. For the Lord is good. Yes. His mercy is everlasting. Yes. And his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. That's where we see all these other isms, mm -hmm. all these other ideas, mm -hmm. all this. And even said to say nothing against intellectualism because because God is supposed to be up here all yeah. the time because yeah. the wisdom of God has right. His all understanding. Yes. Yes. Because the moment we put that intellectualism way up here, uh -huh. we're building the Tower of Babel again. Yeah. Yeah. And we, yeah. we formed an idol out of it, and we're like, wow, that sounds so good. I'm not saying anything. But it's void. Yeah. Void of understanding yeah. the principles of values and morals and everything. Yeah. yeah. Because then they put God down here. Yeah. But hallelujah, that we know for a fact we gotta yes. be determined to say that yes. once I know this truth, once I have this relationship with Jesus Christ, yeah, it'll never be the same again. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Never, never, never. It says, you know, in verse 5, For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth. And dureth to all generations. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He just goes on and on. You know, he's the omnipotent God of all power. Yes, he is. Omnipotente de todo poder. He's the omniscient God. He knows it all. Omniscio. And he is the omnipresent God. Omnipresente. Nothing can come against him. Hallelujah. That's the God that we should be following. Until all those that are listening. 
for such a time as this. There's going to be a healing in your life. There's going to be a deliverance from oppression, from a drug addiction, alcoholism, from even false religions. Once you know the truth, you will never be the same anymore. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. He is so awesome. I'll tell you one thing, I went through the motions. I would go into church and I said, well, it sounds good. I almost want to like have a sleep and blah, blah, blah. And I could just hear and I could just believe and that was it. And what I saw coming against my life, I said, oh my God, I need something more than this. Yeah. Yeah. I needed a relationship with Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. I needed to really take it in. And he said, well, it's got to go, it's got to go. Uh -huh. yes. And that's a sanctification because he is a holy God. Yes, he is. And he tells us that has got yes. to go. Uh -huh. And that has got to go. Uh -huh. So we take a deeper dive <laughs> into the truth. Yes. It's a mercy in there completely. Yes. Saturate ourselves with the power of the Holy Spirit and with the Word of God. Yeah. It doesn't matter they're calling you a bunch of religious people. Oh, friends. that's all right. That's <laughs> all right. You're a bunch of holy rollers. Oh, God. yeah. Oh, hey. right, here they go. They're getting <laughs> jumping up and down. Oh, like this brother of mine opened the door yesterday. What are you all yelling about? <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we're going to continue to declare yes. and decree Woo. the power of God. Yes. Because we are a nation. We are God's yes. army. Yes, we are. And we are moving in the authority of the Spirit yes. for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. See how much we love our families. <laughs> how much we love everybody. Yes. He says, you know, because with us, how much we're going to move as the Spirit leads. Yes. Because once we know that truly, I'll tell you, is we want to share it. Yes. We want to be bubbling over yes. in the Word and the Spirit every day, whatever it takes. Yes. Do we have to pray for somebody in the parking lot outside the store? Uh -huh. If we have to cry with them and pray for them, whatever it takes, yes. we don't tell them, oh, no, 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 no. you got to wait till Sunday at a certain location. I don't, oh, don't bother me right now. Yeah. Oh, 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 boy. There's an old religious framework, the yes. way of thinking it. Oh. Legalism starts to set in. And yeah. you got to go to a certain location. Yeah. Lord, man, we come before the living God right yes. now. Right. And yeah. we allow Spirit, Amen. you know, Holy Spirit, remove anything that doesn't conform to your will. Yes. And teach me because I want to know the truth. Amen. Yeah. There's God. more to more to come. Yes. More, I tell you, it's yes. just in death. Mm -hmm. Because that wisdom of God just surpasses all yes. of the yes. layer after layer yes. after layer. Amen. How beautiful. Yes. How beautiful. Thank I'll tell you with the experiences that I've had, I could go on and on with the testimony and experiences that I've had in my life, my personal life, and even in ministry. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you one thing. I want to go in the direction of truth. Yes. There's areas that we're gonna to have to step away from. Mm -hmm. And it's all right. We love everybody. Yeah, we love them. We're not hating them. But there's going to be opportunities to detach ourselves yeah. from these other ideas yeah. that want to pull us this way. That's right. And those ideas come in bodily form. Yeah. They come in people. They say, oh, no, come over here. i got to share that you you got to believe this. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of thought out there like a snare of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Because once they open that snare, yeah. they're in. You're in. Right. So it's so yeah. right to step aside. We love them. If they're being stubborn, or so no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Well, hasta la vista. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Dios te bendiga. Porque esas trampas de Satanás no van a tener parte en mi vida y en mi familia. Tenemos que declararlo. Hombres de autoridad tienen la bendición de sus hijos. Tienen la autoridad del Espíritu Santo. De, ser, de cubrir a sus hijos y declarar y estar protegiéndolos con el poder de Dios protect your children especially now because everything is going full blast but then there's God mm -hmm. no matter how deteriorating of a situation is going on right now we're not going to entertain the work of the enemy Amen. we're going to allow the spirit of God Amen. to move in such a way Amen. in healing and deliverance in prophecy in love and compassion and most of all in salvation yes. hallelujah I got family members I got friends and I'll tell you one thing I'm going to just say and I know that's all that guy's boring he's, man he's a boring individual he just <laughs> walks away or he don't want to sit down and have all this few beers and these drinks and all that well, I don't and I'm not going to do it Amen. because the body is a temple of the Holy Spirit Come on. Amen. like I shared with y'all before when they poured that tequila I mean, you people drink too much you have a shot of tequila so no way 
Well, no way, I said, I've got God. I said, that is really pronounced to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> There's many that are going through cirrhosis of our liver right now. Oh, God, I have known many oh, within God. the area that have died in a premature death yeah. in the areas of addiction or alcoholism Amen. because they refused to know the truth mm -hmm. yeah. so they stayed in this area oh. being the same mm. comfortable yeah. and in bondage yes. mm. and it's really sad we just continue we just you know we just gotta pray and we gotta fast and we gotta move forward like God's army yeah. Amen. hallelujah in the book of John Hallelujah, chapter 8 and verse 32. And the libro de Juan, capítulo 8, versículo 32. Hallelujah, God is moving in such a way, even when we're being sealed in so many ways, it is so beautiful. I'll tell you, sometimes I get on the phone and talking to people, I had a, some, a person called me yesterday that was, um, they heard of a situation that was uh, going to be in a, this person was going to uh, <coughs> attempt suicide. And it was a very hurtful situation. It's like, oh my God. And I said, let's, let's get an agreement. Let's get an agreement right away. Yeah. Because there is a generation out there that is hurting. There's a generation that is in tanta situación. And it's esclavitud. And it's really sad. He says, yeah, you know, this person is going through it. The word is odd that he is going to attempt suicide. It's what we come in agreement. And we cancel the yes. work of the enemy. Yes. We declare yes. the word the word of God. Yes. We declare in the name of Jesus the yes. Holy Spirit will bring conviction. Amen. Que traiga conviction. Que bring yes. conviction into yes. the generation. Amen. That are going by the wayside. Yes. Hey, there's still hope. There's hope. Yes. Because yes. once you know the truth, yes. you'll never be the same. Amen. And I refuse to go back to all those ideas yeah. and all that framework. Yeah. Even some religious framework. Even some religious framework that is going to dilute the Word of God. Yes. There's a lot of religious framework that has no emphasis on the Holy Spirit. That's right. That's right. They're going to say, oh, you know, Jesus Christ, he was just another man. Mm -hmm. but no way. Don't you tell me that. That's right. You know, we got to be determined to say, no way. That's right. I want the truth in my life. Amen. And I want it in my children, my family, and all that I see out there. Yes. 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 Because, you know, it's like a restaurant. We're not just going to put any plate out there. Oh, like, it is. It's good. <laughs> no. And they all say, oh, my God, it was so bland. Mm. You know, they deserve the best. Each and every one of you. Yes. All of us deserve the best. Yes, we But do. only through the Son, yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Only through God, if you're only no one comes to the yeah. Father except through the Son in relationship. <laughs> See, there's a breaking away from all these traditions, all these ideas. That sometimes it's like, oh my God, uh -huh. you mean I'm not going to be able to hang out those with those guys at the end of the bar all night on Sunday night, Sunday morning? It's got to go. Even the little ripper saying, God, or you're not. Right. Yeah. And I shared this with you a while back in this old song about Bible dealing. Who are you going to serve? Are you going to serve the devil or are you going to serve the Lord? Uh -huh. right. uh -huh. And it's like, oh my God, when I heard it, it's like, wow. Uh -huh. Very powerful. Mm -hmm. It's either you're here or you're there. Yeah. You're either knowing the truth or you're still in bondage. Yeah. You're either serving God and having a relationship with Jesus Christ mm -hmm. or we're not. Mm -hmm. You know, John chapter 8, mm -hmm. and God is so, so awesome. I can yes. share with you many testimonies. For many looked at me and said, Oh, see how you come out of this one. Oh, yeah. And a certain man said, Oh, my goodness. And I said, Well, let God show you Amen. how I'm going to come out of this one. Yes. Just for a bumper to bumper situation in Austin. But praise be to God. He delivered me. He took care of me in every way. And he's not going to stop. He never said, Patricia, right. you're on your own. No. Jose, no. you're on your own. You, you deal with it. No, no. he never said it. Uh -huh. He said, he comes around and gives you that big hug. He said, yeah. I can help you with it. Yeah. Because I love you. Yeah. He's like the prodigal son taking off yes. and coming back, and there's the father. Come on, the message that you go probably walk his story. Come back to the ranch. You can, yes. like I shared, right. come back Stop. to the ranch. You, you don't need to be out there trying to eat the corn husk. <laughs> Have a hot tamales, everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hallelujah! He's got the glory now because he is God. Hallelujah! Yes. Oh man, he's a mighty God. And I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I want the hope of him. <laughs> I want it all. I want it all. Yes. You know, yes. religion would want to tell you, oh, no, 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 that's, that's the Old Testament. You don't go in there anymore. No, Lord. Oh, that's not this. No, 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 no. Don't get too excited with the power of God. Slow down. No. Slow down. Let's get excited about the yes. power of God. Yes, amen. Especially now. Because there is an enemy out there yes. stealing, killing, yes. and destroying that's right. this generation. That's right. Yeah. 
And do we the woman the authority of God? Mm -hmm. <coughs> or we're wimps? Yes. Yeah. So we're wimps. We're wimps. We're just like this and accept and defeat. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to do that no. in the name of Jesus. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. In God. chapter 8, verse 32. Hallelujah. And then verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. In his word, see, all these other wall ideas, all these other books, mm -hmm. and you shall know the truth, yes. and the truth shall make you free. Amen. So whatever you're struggling with, whatever we struggle with, whether this addiction, a situation in a marriage, a physical situation, he's still Jehovah Rapha, our yes. healer. Yes. He is restoring marriages. Yes. He's restoring the bank accounts and everything else. He's restoring relationships every day. Yes. He never said, oh no, that used to be a while back. I've had certain people back in Albania say, come on. No, what's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, where are you heading off in this? In healing and, and miracles. That was back then, not anymore. I said, <laughs> I said, you know what? They don't know God. Our God. I said, hasta la vista. Yeah. And we got to tell, we're going to have to tell certain people hasta la vista. Yeah. Because yeah. they refuse yeah. to know the truth. Mm -hmm. They're going to try and pull us back. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So it says right here in verse 30, 33, verse 32 again, and you shall know the truth, and the truth yeah. shall make you free. Hallelujah. Yeah. How many of us want to be free? Yes. I want to be free. Yeah. Free you, from many things that doesn't conform to God's will. Right. That's right. Libre de todo lo que no le agrada a Dios. Yeah. It says in verse 33, Then answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, you shall be made yeah. free? Yeah. And Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Uh -huh. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, mm. but the son abideth ever. Amen. If the son, therefore, hallelujah, no, yes. he comes Thank to the step of faith, initiative, mm. truth. Mm. If the son, therefore, shall make you free, mm. you shall be free indeed. Yes. Yes. Free. Yes. yes. The you. chains are broken. Yes. Broken from addiction. Yes. Broken from all these other Thank isms. Yes. All these other wild ideas that don't have a plan of salvation. Mm -hmm. Because there's only a plan of salvation through Jesus Christ. Yes. That's right. Yeah. So all this crazy stuff that's out there floating around. Mm -hmm. And people want to come around. And, and it was said to say, sometimes people fall for it. Mm -hmm. All this impulse buying. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks good. It feels good. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. And they end up at the house like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, mm -hmm. that was horrible. But I got a bad taste now. Yeah. Yes, it's not going to work. Amen. It's only the beauty and the presence of the Spirit. Amen. Of our relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Of knowing the truth. And not and being determined not to be the same anymore. Mm -hmm. Whatever they're saying out there, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because we allow the joy of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We allow the living Word of God. Mm -hmm. And this relationship with Jesus Christ. Yeah. We are going to be determined to say, Tenemos que estar ya en, en ese paso de fe. Yo no quiero ser lo mismo. Yo no necesito el vicio en mi vida. I don't need the addiction. I don't need false religion. I need the power of God. I need the relationship with yeah. Jesus Christ. I don't need this. I need to move from, from, from fear to faith. Mm -hmm. I need to move from, you know, in all those areas of, of hatred to yeah. love. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And there's many today that are sitting in churches or their homes, even some that are watching, mm -hmm. still latching on to something. Mm -hmm. But just know one thing. Mm -hmm. Until we know the truth. Mm -hmm. Until we know the truth. Yes. And the power of the living God. And not be like Peter and say, oh, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. Not be in denial. Mm -hmm. Just say, no, walk along with him. Yeah. I like the name and the yeah. song says, and he walked with me. Yeah. You know, it's the wind is Jesus and he Christ. Mm -hmm. And he walked with me. Really, it sounds really good. So, and you walk in this every day? Yeah. And whatever your friends are saying, yeah. oh, look at him, there he goes. He's a, he's a, he's a, oh, he is. It's all right. <laughs> That's all right. And we see gone. the peace and yeah. we see the joy. That's right. And today we've got to be true and the closing of his message is going to take an initiative every day. First of all, in submission to the living God. This plan of salvation said, Lord, I need you. I accept you as my personal Savior. Wash away every impurity in my life, every sin in my life. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. And Lord, because I want to know the truth. 
Because Lord, and I realize that there's a transformation going on. It's a revolutionary transformation. Yes. It's awesome. It's powerful. Yes. And I'll tell you one thing. I don't care how boring I might be or whatever. I'm not, I, I'm not in a hurry to fit into the crowd. That's right. Because I'm having a blast. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm in my problem on myself, but I said, Lord, teach me. Give me the message. Yes. Yes. And how many of the messages? And brother here, Pastor will say, all of us, to munch on it. Hallelujah. To be Amen. strong. Mano Mariano, all of us will receive it. Hallelujah. Amen. And because of today, I would just say right now that we are in a very critical time. Mm. But hallelujah. Yeah. And everything is so prophetic coming to, together. God is revealing himself in so many ways. Yes, he is. But with the beautiful thing about it is he's got the final say for him. Yeah. He's got the authority. Yeah. If we just engage right here in the rules of engagement and allow God to teach us. Just, you know, whether it be a verse a day, the book of Psalms or the New Testament or go back to the Old Testament, allow the truth Amen. to saturate our soul or mind and our hearts yes. for such a time as this. Amen. There's a calling in each and every one of you. Yeah. And this is the time to step out in faith right. and to reach out to a hurting world. Right. I want to thank you because God is so awesome and I want to ask for your prayers if I... If I end up to take the message tonight, maybe it's wherever the Lord is, or out of the streets, or out of the creek, whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. You know, it's really awesome. Because we move in compassion. Yes. Don't mention passion. It's really awesome. Very beautiful. And we move in compassion. Yes. As the Spirit leads. Hallelujah. To hide them, to pray for them, to deliver them in Jesus' name, to prophesy in Jesus' name. I want to thank you because you all are an awesome crowd and I cry and I'll tell you one thing, you're not some people here and I'll tell you, I, I, I like that saying this is church alive, is worth a drive, yeah. I, want to go, I want to say God yeah. bless you and I want to thank you for your prayers Praise and for God. everything and that God will lead me and continue to lead me in the ministry and teach me yes. and I want more truth Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus yes. and I thank you and I love you and God bless you, hallelujah. Yes. Praise thank God. You. Amen. Amen.